And he does like the talk show. The news sort of show. Yeah. Have you so, read The Silmarillion? Do you know what it is? <laughs> is that a book? Oh, God. Yes. So, is it really? Yeah. It's no, the last book I read was Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. The Silmarillion Did you stop is... reading them after that? They started making fucking movies. <laughs> Did you see... As if I'm going to watch something if the movie's getting made. Wait. Fuck that. So I read all the books. Did I buy the last three? No, I didn't. I bought the one after that and then I listened to the audio books for the other Do you order a painting? This is episode 87 of the Trusty Crowbar Podcast. We are on iTunes, Stitcher, Omni, and YouTube. I'm Lucas Winningslow. <laughs> Does YouTube get their own? And, and <laughs> Facebook. And Facebook. And everyone's and on Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> yeah. Just like us on Facebook. <laughs> Please. I'm Rick really Winningslow. Means a lot. And who are you? Ben Can. Oh, well, that's ben. good. Yeah. That's Welcome, good. Reese. I'm not going to make the joke. Today. But referencing the joke is just like Reese. Right. You want to feel right. complete. You're totally going to make the it. joke. You're just going to put it as text on the I video. I cannot <laughs> make that joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Smooth. I apologize. Oh. I really apologize. Since we didn't do a podcast last week, we apologize what? to anyone that was listening or was hoping to listen to the, the podcast. Was, the, didn't listen. That <laughs> was listening out for something that didn't come. Whenever a podcast episode doesn't show up on time, like I get really cranky yeah. at the ones I listen to. <laughs> like, there's one podcast where I'm just like, it was supposed to pop up like four days ago, and I keep refreshing like every hour. I was like, where is it? <laughs> Come I on, want to listen to it. <laughs> Where'd you guys go? Are they doing it anymore? <laughs> Are they giving up? So I did put on our um, our Facebook like our old Let's Play videos. Yep. And we should tell people that uh, Reese and I did a Let's Play of Outlast. Yep. I think it was like a year ago now. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Um, six part series. Yep. Big part. Yep. We did Minecraft ones as well. They were fun. Yeah, we did a few Minecraft ones, yeah. yeah. So check us out. It's on youtube.com slash trusty crowbar podcast. Yep. Dot com. No, what? <laughs> <laughs> Dot co. Dot UK. I made that up. That's so, okay. Good one. Video games. Yes. I did play some this I week. I played a shit ton. Actually, actually, it's been two weeks. So I think Ben's excited. I played a shit ton of <laughs> I Destiny. I played games too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Me. So we should point out at the start of this one, we're not going to talk about Destiny at all because we have spoken about that for the past few weeks. <laughs> all right, see you guys. <laughs> Actually, Ben, we should start off with your Destiny raid. Yeah, we'll let you ramble on about it. And then we'll talk about it. We'll talk about the real issues. Just keep your mouth open. Blah, let it all come out. Uh, <laughs> done. That sounds like the story of Destiny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's more compelling, to be uh, honest, than anything. Uh, traveler, stranger. Oh, now you're just going too, too, too much in depth, man. I don't need really this backstory. God. That's enough, little light. Yeah, exactly. That was, that was my reaction to that as well. Blank. Yeah. <laughs> Like, what is this? Don't call me that. Oh, we're bonding now. <laughs> we are best friends. Yay. Hated it. Actually so hated we did it. the raid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Back well, we, actual gameplay. How many the raid. hours have you divulged into it? I don't think that's the right word. I, right. Right. It sound like, <laughs> I think it sounds <laughs> right. Dedicated, maybe? Divulged. <laughs> no, just go, divulged, <laughs> boy. I'm about to divulge the details of the raid. <laughs> yeah. And you're about... I think. ...of divulging... <laughs> Hours into the game. So the game or the raid? The game. The raid. The raid. The raid uh, maybe six? Can you... Six hours, is that six it? Maybe? Is that How long did it take? 14 hours. We've 14 had it, hours. We've done it over three nights, about two hours a night. I yeah. reckon all the other guys would have gone, oh shit, we're off 23, let's do the raid. And then they would have realised, oh shit, we just leveled up like oh. three times from it, probably, and now we can do it again. You don't get experience from it. For some reason I thought... You... What? What? You don't get experience. Sorry. Hang on, Rex. For some reason, I thought we were like, we're all 23. They were talking about their age. No. Hey, look, we just all turned 23. Let's do the Destiny <laughs> raid. We're old enough. Months <laughs> in, so. Months in, okay. <laughs> um, so, the raid. Okay, yeah. I have a couple of questions about it, and I could have found this out on the internet, but we'll, we'll do a bit of a you know, back and forth. We'll yeah. talk to it. We'll tell our listeners and viewers. I played um, it. <laughs> 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 Involve me. I do too. Does the raid have story, like, a part of the actual full story on it or is it just a separate thing it ties in yeah. with the story like you can you can glean extra details mm -hmm. but it's not like a continuation from the end of the campaign or like another expansion it's just like the the boss at the end Atheon he's got something to do with the main campaign 
but I didn't really pay attention. Wait, you already got up to the boss? Yeah, we're up to the final boss now. Hang on, so it took you six hours to get up to here? Yeah. Why well, did it take nights. 14 hours for the first guy? Like I said, they're all because 23. Because they're all level 20. And they're very immature, oh, their ages just weren't working right. They weren't working right. It wasn't even 26-year-olds or... Yeah. 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 So <laughs> the first time we did it, we had a team of five. Um, and we had... I was 28. We had three level 28s, a 27 and a 26, pretty sure. And the first part where you, you start the Vault of Glass, you're in Venus, you have to control three plates mm-hmm. to build the tower. Uh, that took us, to co- open the door to complete, that took us about an hour and a half, I'd say. To just do that? Just to do that. So is it shooting people straight. or is it more just puzzle? It's shooting. That part is shooting. You have to uh, hold an area where, and you get swarms of Vex. You get probably a, like a shielded yellow Praetorian, level 26, every... Mm, 45 seconds to a minute God coming at you damn it. one after the other and you have to kill them if one of the Vex touches the plate boom, you lose your progress the tower starts fading away yeah. once you gain you have to hold the three plates they build up then the tower starts forming you have to hold the plates for about maybe two minutes maybe a minute and a half for the tower to fully form this is right at the start isn't it this is the first stage yeah I tried doing this all by myself <laughs> <laughs> I was like tower's coming tower's coming yeah let's go on the, um. the second time we did it, we had, uh, so uh, we, we the first night we, we opened the door, we went inside. The next step is you have to uh, protect one little area. It's called the Conflux. You have to protect the Conflux, and there's one of the bosses in the middle mm-hmm. called the Templar. And Just so, another generic name. Another boss, yeah. yep. So you... This section was made by Ubisoft? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All this time, <laughs> you can't actually damage him. He's shielded. So you protect the Conflux... <laughs> that that happens. You move on. You protect oh, two so separate funny. ones. They have to split into two groups. Yeah. Once you do that, you then have to protect all three. While you're protecting all three, the Templar is sending guys at you. There's yellow guys called something, and if they die, they leave a pool of green shit it's on the very floor. <laughs> <laughs> if they you what? touch that, <laughs> you leave, leave this green stuff. If you touch the green stuff, you get marked. Vex spooge. And then yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and the Templar performs this ritual, and if you're marked when the ritual happens, you die instantly. Every death has a 30 second respawn Someone has to come and respawn you If everyone, well, if if you everyone dies, what happens? You go back to the latest checkpoint That's frustrating oh. Has that happened to you yet? Yeah <laughs> God, you suck we, we died at least 100 times on, so how the long, six hours. If you just do the straight completion of that first part yeah. How long is it? We can do it now in about 5 minutes Oh, shit Yeah Right, so is like it just by knowing what to do, uh, or knowing where it... to stand, where the enemies come from, how to kill them, coordination within the group, we can do it in five ten minutes. In terms of it, like a hardness level, yep. all right. The hardest boss, like I, in my opinion, is the one which drops down from the rings and like you got the big circle on the back. The, like, the nexus. The, yeah, that's it. Yeah. yeah, and the vex just zap in, and yeah. like there's no real spot to hide from the vex that's and easy. stuff. That's easy compared, That's easy to, this. compared to any of the Jeez, bosses. I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm fucked. <laughs> any of the <laughs> campaign <laughs> bosses, it's just grind. You just shoot, shoot, yeah. shoot, shoot. Every boss in the raid has a dynamic. It has a, a, a way that you have to attack or stages that you have to attack in in order to do damage. When you're protecting the confluxes, if you get marked, you die. But you also, he spawns these things called oracles, which make these weird bell sounds. They're Ben Spoons? He'll sp- <laughs> yeah, <What>? exactly <laughs> like that. The sound that makes, like... With like a ding at the start, yeah. yeah. But and then, do you hear? Whoa! No, you don't. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no point in playing it then. I thought you said if Ben spoons, and I was thinking Ben. Oh, no, I thought you said Ben spoons, and Ben's oh, like, yeah, yeah, my spoons at home. <laughs> 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 so he spawns three oracles, maybe four, sometimes five, yeah. sometimes three, then another one, then another one, randomly throughout the map. If you don't kill them, you all die. Um, That's fair. Yeah, pretty much. You just to start again. <laughs> so once you kill the oracles, well, I can't even remember how we... Because you have to do all of those things in order. And then... Jeez, how do you actually... I think at some stage after defeating all these oracles, there's like five waves of oracles, his shield drops, and then you can attack him. Once you do that, you just kill, 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 kill. But then sometimes your shield will go up, you have to kill more oracles, and you do it. Then, the, then after that, the real weird stuff starts happening. So once you f- defeat him... So more than just killing. Yeah, like you, you run through this little um, little passageway and then it drops down and there's platforms and you're basically falling, jumping on different platforms for about five minutes, going down, 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 down. Then there's 
platforms that you have to jump on. So you have to like double jump. Sometimes you have to switch to triple jump to use that or you, you hover one. It's a big jumping puzzle you have to get around and you hover it like you stick to the walls, jump across. Then there's all these other platforms that appear and disappear. And there's massive chasm in between. You have to time your jumps properly, and sometimes you have to go around. And meanwhile, pick... the oracles are out shooting. And stuff. No, no, I mean, no. There, there's no, there's just some nice music and the fear of falling. So oh, pretty, pretty much, you're playing Super Mario Brothers yeah, right now. Oh, much. really? But each class had different jumping abilities, so they have to kind of take a different route. Like, because we were hunters, we could go all the way down to the bottom, use our triple jump to jump across and get up. Whereas the other ones had to time their moves on the platforms and stuff like that. I thought the warlocks would be the easiest because we just do jump and then. Oh, glide crap, and I stuff. missed a part. Before the platforms, so after the Templar and before the platforms, there's the Gorgons. So after Assassin's Creed and before Mario, there's <laughs> yeah. Donkey there's, Kong. No, there is. No, wait, Gorgons, there's Zelda. There's, there's Pac-Man. Le- yeah. There's Pac-Man. Pac-Man. <laughs> so it's <laughs> massive, it's called the Labyrinth, and there's Gorgons, which are basically Minotaurs. They're Hydras that when they see you, if they see one of your party, Everyone does. You just said like four names for these guys. Gorgons, Gorgons. Minotaurs, and okay. Hydras. Uh, okay. <laughs> Shit. You're in the labyrinth. Yeah. And you're being... Hunted by Minotaur. Scout, hunted by hunted Hydras. by Gorgons. Gorgons. That's their Shit. in-game name. Which are basically Minotaurs, but they look like Hydras. You know the, the mythical story of the labyrinth and the Minotaur? Yeah. It's that. Oh, okay. But there's many Minotaurs. And there's now, lots the of Gorgons, like ecstasy tablets. They look around. like the Vex enemies, which are Hydras. You know, the hovering things and they expand and they have little yeah. tentacles. That's what they look like. Oh, okay. But they're shiny. Oh, the Hydras from the actual game. Yeah, they're shiny. Oh. They've got like red lasers and stuff. <laughs> yeah. And you, so you have to find, but there's like... Can you catch them? No. And you anytime can't you kill see them. It, anytime you see a shiny creature, you normally catch it. Oh, yeah, true. Because it's pretty rare. These ones are, aren't rare. There's maybe a dozen of them in the maze. Wait, there's shiny probably, creatures? Pokemon, you fuck oh. <laughs> Jesus it's probably like 20, 25 <laughs> different paths you can take and you have to find the exact right path, yeah. get everyone through it without being seen. So it's basically like Pac-Man across Metal Gear Solid, I guess. But was Hiding on the boxes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then you do the jumping and then you kill some staff then the door opens and then you you don't quite fight Atheon. I don't even feel like I need a play it anymore <laughs> we've, we've lived it you kill a bunch of I've played these games before <laughs> you kill a bunch of high class of X that you haven't seen before yeah. and then Atheon comes out and he is a bitch we've we stayed on him for like an hour or two over a couple so of different you made him your bitch we the most we we survived like six or seven rounds and took off maybe a fifth of his health Jesus and what? yeah it's really hard because have you killed him yet no no you haven't finished this God, no, no do you know if there's anything past Atheon can Atheon's you the last boss. Oh, okay. because you're doing that when you go back into it do you have to open up the glass and no. then you get or you just click on it and you, you're back we in can it? go back to a checkpoint and the checkpoint will last seven days can you play other things what yes. and level up more and then go can finish it yes okay so Sorry. you can just there's cool. a pretty good number of checkpoints throughout it which is all right. If yeah. you get up to a part and you don't go back and play it within seven days, you have to start from the start. Yes. Yeah. That is fucked. Yeah. Well, what? Some people will never be able to do it. Yeah. So they can't keep that saved data forever. Some people are Oh, no. I guess so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, true. Fair point. I mean, the, the number of people who, like you, for example, who would try it and not do it, then just never come back to it. You're going to play Shadow of Mordor yeah. instead. Yeah. yeah, that's right. <laughs> I will play Shadow of Mordor <laughs> yeah. instead. I uh, get enjoyment out of Shadow of Mordor. So you've was, pretty much nearly finished it. Yeah, it was super fun. But the the way that you have to kill... So, Atheon's there. Yeah. And, yeah, there's two little plates that you have to stand on to spawn um, time gates, which send you back in time. So when you're fighting him, he'll hey, transport... Yeah, Zelda. Yeah. He'll transport three it's of your team short, like back in time or to a different dimension or something. Okay. Yeah, then I have to pick up a relic... Which is a really, you know, like the sword of Crota. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that favorite? one awesome thing that you can only use <laughs> once in yeah. the freaking game. And then it's after like you, that. After you and then you can walk past yeah. more swords. <laughs> and so many just like, of them. Hey, you want to grab them? Nah. Well, you now can't. you get a shield. Now you get the shield. And Holy then, shit! This is Zelda race. Now that you've been transported <laughs> back, you the team who with Atheon have to power up the gate to let you back through. Mm-hmm. Once you are through, you have to kill supplicants, which are more hydras, which will detonate on impact and kill you straight away uh, and then you just wail on Atheon do damage yep. so the other team and then he teleports have... you again another three people each time was so there a giant talking tree no anywhere but if you screw up and you don't get back from the other dimension you're pretty much screwed 
What? Like you save like your character? No, no, no. Like you, you have to start from the checkpoint. You're not just oh. like you got this far, but we're gonna fuck you over. I'm, it's like, yeah, we've you've gone through time travel oh. and stuff like this, and now you're stuck back in the fifties. You, you, like, you happy you got that out? No, it's still there. It's like <laughs> out here. No, I'm talking about destiny in itself. <laughs> no. There is destiny. It was just more, filling more us in on the rest of the story. More yeah. <laughs> I can't that wait that to go sense. back to the raid. It's really fun. Yeah, and with you know five other people that you know. I, how long do you reckon yeah. you've got left in it? Judging by our progress before, at least another three hours in the boss battle. Yeah. <laughs> how long do you reckon it will take before Doug gets up to a decent enough level? I reckon Doug would probably do it quicker than you. <laughs> in all honesty. Probably. It probably be... Oh, and I hit level 29 as well. So I'm at level 29. That's the, the, best, the best I can get without getting more raid gear, which I now have some of, and I've maxed it out. Which is great. How do you get raid gear, but... Uh After each boss or area there's chests you can open and you've either got a chance of getting shards energy or sweet raid gear what right. do you get from the raid just gear gear yeah. okay Raids. now gear. if you gear go and, and join the, can you do the raid at all without the other five people the other four or five yeah people? i got invited to another a level 30 like the same raid on hard with a bunch of other randoms. As soon as you hit level 29, I think, I got like five different invites. They're like, hey man, come on my raid. Hey, do you want to go on a raid? But hey, I mean, like, you, you've got a checkpoint at a certain point in the raid. Yeah, I went and did some more raid with that guy. I got wasted totally and left and then came back to my original group and we kept playing on... So uh, you felt like a so, boss on that one, didn't you? So you have to have yeah. the same yeah. people with you to start from a particular checkpoint. No. We, no. we had... So we had five people the first time. Yeah. We had an extra person the second time. Same checkpoint. Lost him. Started again. Same checkpoint. We actually, we decided to restart the whole raid again after we got up to the second boss. Mm-hmm. So we were like, oh, Jacob's here now. He can join in. We'll start again. Get more loot. You don't get loot. You can start again. <laughs> so, did he get loot, bro? Yeah, he did. Because yeah. he had none of it before. <laughs> like, awesome stuff. And you guys were just like, well... We just did all that. We've already gotten it. And we didn't get yeah. any more. Yeah. So can you, you can only do the raid once to get raid gear. Or you have to complete the raid completely and then go back and do I it. I think it resets. So if you lose your checkpoint. So it's like the weekly nightfall or okay, whatever. Yeah. You, you start it you've got a week if you don't do it start again you can get more loot yeah, yeah. yeah. I really want to play Destiny now actually I just want you to level up what do you level at now? I am at level 23 23 I, think. I just hit 25 like two weeks ago mm. that's for the last time I've played it yeah same yeah so I've been playing more games I actually played a lot of games I think in my mind How, like maybe you it's just, them maybe in your mind two weeks real games probably two weeks Hmm? Did you play Spelunky? In my mind, it was just little things. You did play Spelunky. What did you I think did play of Spelunky? Because I like Spelunky. A lot of, you know, sexual jokes there. Pick up a girl and she's bent over and birds are flying around her head. That's messed up. So, yeah. So you roofied her. Yeah, Basically. Pretty much. So you go and up. then you can throw her and blood comes out of her. <laughs> but you can pick her up and help her and then she kisses you at the end of the stage what anyway. I, so. What I didn't realise right. though, right? So I picked the girl up and I was, you know, walking with her and stuff and I had to throw her and in like a little you know, hole basically Dungeon? so yep. that she wouldn't run away because she starts running when she's like left alone stay where you are throw okay. her a hole but then I went to like <laughs> throw a bomb somewhere else but I accidentally threw it where she was in the hole. and it blew up and then she like was just lying down so I just waited for her to stand up and then she didn't stand up <laughs> and I'm like oh. eh, eh. did I no nah, Clearly, she can't be dead. So I walk over and I pick her up and I'm carrying her and stuff. But I pick her up and you know the little like birds, birds? And stuff. yeah, they don't show Not up. Oh. So I'm like, okay, something's wrong. Maybe she just needs to rest. So I like put her down and I'm like, she's decomposing. Yeah. Like, she just needs to sleep. And I'm like, she looks like she's asleep. She doesn't have X's over her eyes. Maybe if I just <laughs> leave her there for a little bit and come back, she'll be okay. And you know how like in the PS4 controller, you can hear her saying, "Help, help." Yeah, yeah. That stopped completely even when I walked away. You I killed was, the poor girl. <clears throat> yeah, I totally you destroyed yeah, her. I killed her. So I didn't didn't realize that you could. And um, yeah, but that game is hard. I still I still find that game is just even though it's got a lot of stuff to it, it's kind of like a it's like that digging game that you play. What's it called? Terraria. Super Motherload. Super Motherload. Yeah. Similar to that, but again, they're games that like I wouldn't pick up by myself and go, let's play this. Reese, hey Reese, let's play this game. I, they just, I'm not a massive fan of them. Spelunky's the type of game which, like, if I'm bored and I've got like 20 minutes, I'll jump in and, yeah. and start spelunking and stuff. You wouldn't want to kill a couple of orcs, but well, it takes a bit to get into that again. Yeah. Um, but the most frustrating thing I find in Spelunky is the whip, 
and I always time it wrong. Yeah. Like I have a snake coming for me and I'm like, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Then I'll go, <laughs> and it will just miss it. It's and like, did snake, I scare you and away? The, no. Oh. And, the, and you can't whip fast enough again. Yeah. So like the snake's just like, yeah. <laughs> oh. <Come on. laughs> yeah. And I'm like, ah, you hit me. Um, and they die really easy in that game too. Mm. Have you uh, like punched the shopkeeper? No. You so have, I've, I've, you I've, got up to I've the, been the main guy. Yeah. Once. Okay. Yeah. Gone to it, played so you, off a couple of things, went to a tunnel, went, okay, cool. Do I just keep doing this? Yep, that's it. So you get all the way up to like one part in the um, cave, and there's like a shop which has like four items you can pick from. It has like mystery box and, you know, like bombs or um, ropes or something like this. It's, it's sort of randomized. But I go in there and I was like, okay, I want all of this stuff, but I don't want to pay <laughs> for it. I've got some bombs, so I'll do that. You know, push the down button and the circle, and it threw a little bomb. Straight away, the dude pulled out a shotgun and started firing at me. What? He's just like, Pff! and I was like, shit! So I started running out of there, but he's like <laughs> twice my speed, so he's like running, standing in front of me, turns around, t- pulls out the shotgun. He's like, fuck you! Yeah. <laughs> blows me away. <laughs> Holy, shit. Holy shit! So I'm like, um, got my rope. And then he realised, where do I get a shotgun from and not a stupid whip? Yeah, I know. Freaking roped it out of there, so I'm climbing the rope, and he's just literally like jumping, 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 and then waiting for me up top. And I was just like, I'm fucked, this guy's got me. So and then you're just done because it's permadeath, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, well, permadeath, and then like when you go back to the start, the whole um, everything changes, everything's anyway. changed, yeah. yeah. So it's all random, randomly generated. So, but apparently, like in terms of like how hard that game is, someone has beaten the game using a dancing stage Megamix dance pad controller. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. No matter what cool. you can do, someone else can do it better. Way while better. dancing. With a dance pad. <laughs> With a dance pad. Yeah, I know. I will die a lot in this game, but someone else beat it. Just like standing there and just going. We designed a very active We'll finally game. finish the raid and then see a video of someone doing it with like a steering wheel control. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Turn around. People do that. People have uh, finished Dark Souls with a with guitar. The guitar yeah. Hero. <laughs> what? Yeah, like full of, and like the video of him. He's like, no, no, and he's like, <laughs> he's like, no, no, he's like, yes, yes. <laughs> Whereas someone's probably playing through the fire and flames, which is the control. They're just like, yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. He probably wasn't playing at all. He was just like yelling at like some recorded video. No, yes. <laughs> He's just like playing. <laughs> it, it, it probably could work. I um, um I played and finished the vanishing of Ethan Carter. Oh, I do want to hear about yes. this now. Uh, really, really cool game. It's like a just pretty much like a puzzle solver murder mystery game mm-hmm. where you can literally go walk from the start of the game to the end of the game. I think, but you, whenever you come to a puzzle, you should solve that puzzle. Because if you don't solve that puzzle, are you typing in a password to Steam? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and you don't want to show the camera. <laughs> Holy shit. People do nasty things. Yeah, I know. But I'm pretty um, sure they can look at the reflection on your glasses. <laughs> <laughs> But I can't see them, like, enhance the HD. And, like, they do the CSI thing where they just go, like, command, like, S or something and, like, does that bloop, bloop, bloop. Yeah. <laughs> enhances and all it. the key presses make sounds. Yeah. That frustrates me so much where any time someone uses a computer, it's like, boop, 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 all that crap. Anyone who works in IT will know that no, as soon as you start working on some piece of hardware, you turn all the sounds off. Yeah. The, um... The most frustrating thing that I've so the ever worst seen thing for you would just be W A Q Q Q seven six five password accepted. <laughs> oh shit! Password. It's a, oh, it's a good addition. We have way to too many people. people who have password as their password, and we have to force them to change it by creating rules in group policy that say has to be eight characters, has to have a capital, at least. Yeah. Password one two. Um. <laughs> <laughs> So I um, and let me talk about my game. No, no, wait. I was talking about oh, something. What do you mean? Yeah, so the frustrating thing <laughs> I've ever seen on NCIS, right? Was the two they of were them hacking? They were, yeah, they were. Yeah, <gasps> they were getting hacked. Ben, have you seen this? I don't know. They were getting hacked, right? So one of them jumped on the computer to like stop the hacker from getting into the database. Yeah, it and they're was finding, NCIS, they're like, was it? Yeah, they're like they're yeah. too fast. They beat me quick. Somebody help! So somebody else jumped on the same keyboard they're and just started pressing away. I literally lost my shit. I was like, what is this bullshit? <laughs> Complete hacker. That goes on in this TV show. And then the main guy just pulls out the plug and he's like, that stops him. Was, yeah. Ben, was yeah. it you that told me there's 
a website you can go to where each key press is like a hacking I just thing. opened that oh, up. Oh, you right just opened that up? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what, you what? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm, I'm, super, I'm super cool. So right, right now, yeah. Ben is um, basically he's on a website where each key press you push looks like you're actually physically doing oh, like code God. and hacking. That's <laughs> so, awesome. <laughs> I haven't even oh, seen it. And he just opens the other thing in Chrome anyway. So <laughs> I just, it's like a Chrome page source. Oh, so right. it's like complete. You can get it on... What's oh, the website minute. called? I think you can get it on your iPhone. What's, what is what's the website? website? Oh, no, then? it's an ad to buy an iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> it's ads. It's got like iPhone, Galaxy. All this Talking about ads, we should say a word from our sponsors. Me. <laughs> <laughs> and Ben. Ben Reese. So yeah. we sponsor this podcast, but if anyone would like to... <laughs> <laughs> That's so depressing. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we pay for it. We pay um, for it. Like, check us... Check us an email. Check us, <laughs> check us out on YouTube. Not <laughs> selling us at all. Is that what you do with emails? We can like check accept it. money or products and S- stuff services. if you want. Goods, goods and services. <laughs> we like. We were cool. Thanks, man. We'll, we'll take we'll coupons wear, and vouchers. We'll wear your underpants. <laughs> Did you say ticket bombs and badges? <laughs> no, like if bonds want to like. You know, supplies with the underpants. You complained because you wore briefs for one oh, day. It was horrible. Not long ago. It was absolutely horrible. I don't know how <laughs> anyone can understand How do you do it, man? You need to get the right kinds. The first type that I bought, they rolled up my leg because they were too big. They were, oh, so you got to get... Did you buy ones on sale? I bought ones he from bought Aldi. Them from okay. Aldi. <laughs> you bought, so you didn't even buy Bonds. You bought just Aldi briefs. Because <laughs> yeah. like, like, even when you buy bands. Bonds on sale, they're bad. I bought a pair of Bonds <laughs> on sale... <laughs> And they were Wait, bonds. And it's I, the like, same bonds he would buy normally when on sale. No, they weren't so the same. Like, when they, they were bonds and they had the bigger logo on the front of it. Bonds, if anyone's from overseas, it's just an underwear brand in Australia, pretty much. Yeah. Um, they had the big logo on it and I took them, took them home. And normal briefs have like a side trunk so you can like pull the trunk, piss out the hole, you're all set. <laughs> Everyone know, doesn't really do that. I always just pull my pants down. Yeah. To my ankles and just... <laughs> <laughs> this is what I did in preschool. I can't do it now. You just um, put your arms over the other two guys standing beside you. What's up? <laughs> watch, <love>. watch this. <laughs> and when I actually got them home after I put them on, I found out that the trunk wasn't on its side. It was actually in the centre and, point, and pointing towards me. <laughs> so you can have to go... <laughs> so no, I would literally have to like... Point it up, <laughs> open the pocket, and then flop it over. So one, like, one, for really the person, busting. For the person that if you got an erection, your dick would always pop out of the hole and stare at you. So that's like, not... I pulled too much, one ball out. So... This is straight after we're talking about sponsorships. <laughs> <laughs> we talk about games. We talk yeah, about games. This is, well, this is the live conversation that would All happen right. if you did sponsor. Yeah, that's right. We just, at, Bonds is awesome. <laughs> Get them all. Um, Wait, they haven't sponsored right, us so, yet. Back, Fuck you, Bonds. Back to, no, 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 they never so. <laughs> back to Ethan Carter. Okay. Right, Ethan Carter is one of the most beautiful games that I've seen. The visuals Why? in it are amazing. It just looks very, very, very pretty. So it was very direct. Looking Why? deep into something, yeah. they don't look like they're bad textures. Like okay. Shadows of Mordor. Oh, you yeah. look deep yeah. into it, pretty shit textures other than all the creatures. But this game, okay, you start off, you are a private investigator that you're going into the world and you want to... Going into the world, you've been... What's it called when you get told to do something? Is it <gasps> or something? Become a job. You get a job. <laughs> you you, you a become job. a job. You have to. Well, what um, are you looking at anyway? So, um, space engineers. Okay, that was just get up. Um, but you didn't know about space engineers. No, there's someone left to review. They've got 1,100 hours on record. Oh my god. Oh, okay. It's still in early access, and you spent a thousand hours on the game. They like space. That's fine. All right. So this is your last job that you are going to do. You're doing a job for a little kid. Ethan Carter, who's gone, who's vanished. So you're a private detective. You're a private, yeah, yeah. And you, you say in your little speech thing that this is the last job that you're going to do. Pretty much, you go solve all these mysteries of like... Is it the monologue? Like, hmm? like is it, this is the last job I'll ever do. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And you're like, oh, cool, exposition, sweet. And you start doing all these mysteries where you solve puzzles and you've got to work out which sequence comes where and you've got to find objects and sync up all the, the memories and all that stuff together. Um, anytime you, when you finally solve the puzzle... Just you, you view this really messed up process where everyone's getting possessed and go around and they start killing people. Well, so, I had, we do, I had to go from like Sherlock, I'm a private detective, to people are getting possessed. What? 
<laughs> okay, it's a video game band. <laughs> sure Anything happens. can happen. No, so how did the start of the story happen? Like, so there's a little kid. Does it start off no, no, with like a mystical aspect, or what do you mean start? Of story? Uh, you go through, you go through a tunnel. <laughs> driving in a car. No, 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 not physically. So, no, like... so it's basically like this is my last week. Like I've given my resignation. This is the last week I work to myself because I'm a private investigator. Yeah. Like, I'm retiring in a week. Is that what he's basically doing? I think so. Okay, yeah. so he's like... This it doesn't really go into it. It's just like, this is going to be the last... This is my last investigation. Yeah. Is so... he used to weird spiritual shit? Like, is that what he did last week? Or... They don't really explain why he can do that. Right. Where he right. Can so do... it's just him. No, your ca- like, the character that you yeah. are. Has it's this like whole Constantine kind connection of with it. history. Oh, okay. Like, you can right. view what's happened in the past by oh. getting clues and whatnot. Um, he must have just played a lot of Cluedo. Yeah. Time travel for his yeah. eyes. Um... And as the time goes on, you kind of understand the whole sequence and the story of it. That's pretty much the whole thing. It's just solving mystery puzzles and stuff. That's the easiest way to explain the game. But the more thing that just stands out in the whole game is how visually amazing it looks. Like, the game looks beautiful. You walk around and you literally are just in awe of everything that happens. You're playing on PS4, yeah? Huh? No, PC. Oh, okay, right. Yeah. For our viewers, right now, we're going to show here the... uh, the best. Do we do that now? Yeah, we do that. Now. <laughs> beautiful screenshot. The, the, the beautiful, a beautiful screenshot right here. No, Ready? it's probably gonna be up. Up? What? I don't know where it's. Can we be. make? Can we make our hands that fits like right in it? <clears throat> yeah. That's in front of my face. No, no, you cut your face out of it. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so that's the easiest way that I can explain about that. Like, that's probably the most without spoiling the story to it. So, okay, resolving mysteries. It's a beautiful looking game. If you've got a good computer with good graphics, it'll be beautiful, even better. Man, I've got a pretty good graphics card now. But what do you got? I don't know, GTX 570 maybe? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Like, it's not fantastic, but it's, all right. it's pretty good. Yeah. Um, I would recommend anyone to play it. Like, it's, it's a game you can literally finish in a night. You oh, play really? it for it. It's about probably two, three hours of gameplay. Oh, yeah. Like, because it's just a. Oh, so it's not like. Style game. It doesn't have its own aesthetic, it just is really detailed. Mm-hmm. So it just looks nice, and they've got a lot of great textures yep. to it, um, but it doesn't have like its own look. No, yeah, it, cool. some of it looks pretty freaking real. Like you know when you look at some of um, what do you call it? Um, Kingdom Come. Has anyone ever heard of that? The um, Deliverance. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. when you look at that, like it to me, it was very similar to that, but Kingdom Come does. Stand out a lot more. Do, 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 do. What is that? Like Deliverance? Oh, the banjo song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a banjo guy playing in it. Um, the other games that I have been playing recently mm-hmm. is Alien Isolation. I want to try that. Did you get the yep. Nostromo pack where you, you got all the uh, you got I got the copy. Nostromo oh, pack. Nice. He took it. Yeah, now, I bought it. All right, so I, had a I mate, got nothing to play. I had a mate that was playing it with me. He Destiny. always likes to play scary games with me because he's too much of a little bitch to play it himself. <laughs> And he always goes, hey, let's let's play it. And I'm like, you can play this by yourself. And I have like, a friend no. like that. I wouldn't classify him as a little bitch because he bought The Evil Within to play by yep. himself. And he's like... I thought you were going to talk about me then. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to leave him to I was friend. Lucas. Him. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It was the first time he took Destiny out of his Xbox since launch. Yeah, far play out. play Evil Within, yeah. Good job. Um, yeah, that Alien is, Isolation. On, since launch yeah. of the Xbox. No, since launch of... <laughs> he got an early, yeah. Yeah, early copy of Destiny. He's like, ah, oh, it's year so The servers aren't working. <laughs> <laughs> they don't exist yet. <gasps> There's new data centers in Sydney and Melbourne. Oh, for Destiny or There's for Microsoft? There's Microsoft centers. Oh, they've actually got them each site turned has, on yet? Or? I don't know. But each site has space for 600,000 servers each. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Jesus. Obviously, a lot of those have been virtualized, been, not they physical. This, they servers. got the space for it, but like it's one of those matrix rooms where they just look in the distance and there's one computer just flashing. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably like that, like a massive rack full of blades with like a thousand servers on each one or something. He's not, talking, about not talking about just, just one, one. like just literally the, the like, one literally, TV. Literally, yeah, that's what I'm. And the guy like, on the couch, just the one. No, 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 just one TV, little flashing. Come on, ben. Literally, just, like the hard. box with the, the red light. Yeah, yeah, the, the internet. internet. The internet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Where are the cables? Wireless. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> the uh, Alien Isolation. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So again, it is a very pretty game. They put a lot of detail into the graphics. Um, however, when I played it, I don't know if because I didn't update it straight away, a lot of the people that were talking 
they were just like looking pretty spastic. It would be Hello? yeah. They when they talked, their nose was moving completely here. wrong. Basically, they were using yeah. iPads or whatever that weren't even there. They were just invisible. <laughs> they just flick, flick technology. Flick. <laughs> they were actually in my their hand palms. is now a phone. Hello there, how are you? Um, and as like so, I pretty much restarted restarted again and went back into it. Yeah. Um, it's kind of hard because it doesn't tell you where the game to go. We glitched out right at the start. Yep. On the PS4. Yeah. And you, you restarted it and it was fine. Were you connected no, no, to well, the internet? Yeah, pretty much. Like, well, I didn't, like, reload it. But with the game itself... You um, you leave got, my cup, man. Get out milk? of it. What? The, 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 the... All right, so the cutscenes are all really, really laggy. But again, yeah. I don't know if it's because I haven't updated it again. Like kind of choppy screen? Very or? choppy. Oh, well, Very, like you, the frame rate did, was really shitty. You didn't do the upgrade for the game? Is no, that what you're no, okay. no, not Was away. there one? There is one, which is an install now. Turn so the internet it, on. I don't know, it was probably a gig or something like that, maybe. maybe yeah, that would have fixed all yeah, 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 probably, 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 probably would have fixed it too. Yeah, jeez. Um, How big a gig? Maybe. I didn't even That is tiny. Compared, compared to the to Master Chief collection. Oh, shit. The first time that you find out exactly where you know where to go is when you finally pick up that machine that, like, the sensor, it's like... Doot, the bleeper. Doot, doot. Yeah, the bleeper. The, the game, to it, me, it, it makes still feels like... When people are swearing in the distance. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. 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 Fuck, fuck. There's an alien, fuck. The, <laughs> <laughs> the game, to Just me, still, still feels like a... <laughs> yeah. An overpriced Outlast, like it does have yeah. a different story to it. It is in space. It does look better. What's like, the? It's still that sort of element to it. That whole survival horror again. Yeah. What's the timeline? I was confused. Between ever since Aliens said... One and Two. All right. You've been you're Ripley's daughter. Who's trying to find? Ah, oh, that's right. Ripley. So you're up. still Ripley, and you're Wait, trying to find well, Ripley's daughter called Ripley. Ripley. Last that's name the last is Ripley. Name you're oh, it is too. Stop. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Her name's not Ripley. Ripley, but. But throughout all the movies... Ellen they, Ripley. They, Ellen Ripley. Ellen Ripley. That's yeah, her name, yeah. yeah. They're like an army group, aren't they? Or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so they call <laughs> people Shit. last names for like probably the last 15 years. I've been going... Oh, first, Meanwhile, first yeah. Ripley. Mum Ripley is still with Jonesy. Yeah. And so you've been commissioned to try and find her. You go to some of the ship or some one of the ships. An astronomer. Yeah. Where you Even get though there, it blew up. You get there, everything's turned to shit. Um, Wait. There's spray paint and stuff all over the doors, and you... a lot of the um, oh, it's just the spray oh. thing in Doug's house. <laughs> um, that looks pretty good. And the, there's a lot of the androids, just uh, because they won't let you in certain areas. They're just going against everyone, so they yeah. just run around and they're going they crazy are. and they're going to kill everyone. Are you on the Nostromo? When this happens? No, the DLC is the Nostromo. How the hell do they fit that into the story? Is it like a, a what if scenario? Because I'm pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. The Nostromo blew up. With the refinery. So the Nostromo doesn't Nostromo. contain the character. You're playing as Ripley. The oh, real Ripley. Oh, so the you're like Ripley, in Ripley the first from movie. Rip- yeah. So That's it's like, really cool. Yeah. It's pretty annoying that they put so much of this, of that part as a DLC. A free DLC. What do you mean? The actual game. Why don't they just put that in the game? It wasn't free. <laughs> it's like six bucks. It was, don't you get it with the game? Yeah, if you get the special pre-order. Edition. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah it's freaking annoying. Um, and the alien... When it comes against comes to you, it's pretty frightening. Like it's annoying that you run like you might run near a pipe, and you'll see like a little dot when you look at the machine go straight yeah. past you. You're like holy shit! Yeah. Um, every time it's seen me, I've been killed. Yeah, and I didn't realize. Have you tried to fight it? No. Have you picked up like? A I went under. Fire? I went under a vent. Yeah. Didn't realize it was a draw coming out of it, and it's uh, ate me pretty quick. Oh really? And, but it didn't really scare me. That's does it have thing. different death animations? Like, does it stab you or eat you? Yeah, or just kill yeah. You the same. Yeah. The yeah. one time I died in it, I was um, literally just like the alien had walked past from like left to right screen, and mm-hmm. I was like hiding, and I was like, oh, it didn't see me, thank God. So then I just, you know, went around the corner, and I was like, cool, and I just started walking around, walking around, and and then like I turned to a door, and I clicked the door to open up, and then I just heard with the, the remote. Like, in the, I heard the sound <laughs> of like my character just got. Ah! And I was like, what happened? And then like I looked down and there was like the alien tail through yeah. my chest and I was like, I can get I can get through this. <laughs> the, the, the thing is like trying to run. Run <laughs> <laughs> Imagine what that looks like, your legs are going you're off the off the ground, impaled. The thing they say is you always should keep the xenomorph in view. So you always know where it is, so I can't just run around and sneak up on you. Like that's the the best. Does it way have to play good it. AI? Like can it outwit you kind of thing? Or? It is like it's on. And they off. say hiding is not 
<clears throat> the best technique. Like, right. if you hide and you stay hidden, the alien will eventually find you. Because it can hear you, the little thing going, fuck. <laughs> so it's just like what's that noise what was that noise just now I thought I never understood in the movie like the light's cool why does it have to make a sound yeah. it's like, I'm here I'm here I'm here I'm here I'm here I'm here <laughs> um, yeah so like that's... sorry just imagine if freaking um, Solid Snake was dressed up as a xenomorph and that, that's what it is it's just him sneaking or around or it's just a xenomorph made out of boxes yeah <laughs> Um, but it, like again it's a game that I'm probably not going to play again just because like I wasn't yeah. so drawn into it I don't really want to be fully frightened by well, the game you won't play again like have you finished it no no. so you're not going to play it I don't, I don't think so you've gotten like, the, you've playing gotten the it was only because Geordie the friend was pretty much saying hey yeah. let's play Alien Isolation I'm like do you want to play it he's like no nah. But you're gonna get evil. <laughs> you get evil within this. I'll just watch. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I think I think evil within will be more up your alley because it's something yeah. different. It's not like we've played Outlast together, yeah. and that was pretty freaky. Yeah. Like, but plug. Yeah. When I <laughs> <laughs> on YouTube, if you haven't seen it, you should check it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I'm not even probably edit that. I'm too lazy to do um, that. Uh, Shit, I've lost it. Alien? Alien, yeah. So, like, we played out last night, and when I watched the trailers for Alien and then gave it, uh, like, the 10 minute go that I got in that conference, <sighs> it felt very outlasty. And yeah. I was like, okay, I've played, a, I've, I've gotten the the feeling and sensations from another game already that yeah. I'm going to get out of this anyway. Mm-hmm. And I'll, I'm, the only reason I'm interested in playing it is because I like the Alien story and the Alien franchise, and I'm like, okay, that sounds kind of cool, but I don't just want my heart pounding for, like, 60 minutes yeah. straight when I haven't even moved, like, from one room to the next. Mm, like, enough. that's how I'm going to play. The I'm one thing that so really does it. annoy me about the game is it's not an autosave area. You literally have to run from spot to spot yeah. and go to a save bank and go into it, click a button, and then go to save, and all of this runs in real time. So if you Ooh. think you get right up to the end of the level yeah. and the Xenomorph's chasing you or an Android's chasing you or anything like that You're... and you click to go save it yeah. pretty much says like it'll warn you if the alien's near so you can't save oh, <clears> yeah shit. or you can save I think so you, you can, can save when finish, it's right near you nearly finish and then and that's what annoyed me like I got from a certain point it probably took me about 25 minutes nearly got back got killed and had to start all of that again Jeez. and that really really frustrated me and like sometimes if you miss the save points, that's like a whole area that you didn't save. And if you don't save, you just reload back to where you last saved. Which is very Shit. like it's it's very you have to really care about what you do in the game, which is annoying. <laughs> I've yeah. become a lazy gamer. <laughs> <laughs> a very lazy gamer. Um and the other game that I have played for the first time is The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Oh yeah. Yep. So I've never but played never, the game before. Really? Yep. Never. I've never played the game for more than five minutes before. I played it on an emulator and it, a few and, years ago. And by, I understood why is because they don't tutorial. They don't have a tutorial at the start of these games. <laughs> so it's yeah. fucking hard. Games prior to I think PS2. They went. If you're a retard, like, you won't pass this. I and I did that, it. That's probably why. <laughs> you, know, like, you know, like like back in high school, we were talking about this before. Like, video games were not the cool thing. Video yeah. games were like the geek kids would play video games. I was the geek kid. Love video games. Like, I'm kind of pissed off with that now. That hands. And now, like, games are just you. It's so indie. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> games are just like what everyone does now. Yeah. But we've also seen the change of like no tutorials and literally like if you're a gamer, you should know how to play this. What. Mm. What, what you really don't need me like yeah. what are you talking about to like hey I'm going to hold your hand for the first six levels to jump press X and tell you in level four that if you want to crouch you push C like yeah. Super Mario <laughs> Galaxy where it's like would you like to help us and it gives you two options yes or okay <laughs> <laughs> it's like really? it makes me want to say no really does <laughs> yeah. it yeah when you, you hop on the Mario head ship and there's those little star things like Oh, you have to help us find all our babies or whatever. You know, like, are you going to come with us? Yes or okay are your options. You can switch between the two. I'm like, well, fine. All right, then. <laughs> okay. So with um, Ocarina of Time, uh, what, one of the other you, guys has been on You, you know before. how to play games now, though. So Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. No, but still, like, okay, because the graphics are so shit, 
What did on, you on like fifty five inch television? <laughs> <laughs> and it's just stretch. I've even got it Nintendo, down to four. Th- I've got it to four three. Nintendo I don't stretch 64? it out. Link yeah, looks yeah, like 64. a rectangle. So yeah. Link looks With like some little rectangles. A very <laughs> blurry rectangle. <laughs> did you know you can get uh, upscale? HDMI. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got to look into that and spend yeah. a fair amount of money. Um, yeah, but the start of the game is very hard to work out where to find the shield because there's a shop. It doesn't say. Shop like every other game would say. This it goes. This is a fucking tree stump, <laughs> and you got to find it yourself. And it's got like wacky font yeah, for yeah. like the words. And then yeah. it's like, okay, now after that's you a get this, language. after you <laughs> yeah, get this, wacky font. <laughs> I'm sure it's English. It's just you know. But <laughs> like after after you get the shield, you then <laughs> got to go go to some <laughs> other area where you got to get something else, and it's literally a fucking hole in the wall <laughs> yes. that's the size of you when yes. you're on your stomach. And I'm like, where the hell the fuck would I find that? <laughs> Luckily for me, like, because I want to play the game, but I don't want to have to think super hard about some shit. I have been reading the walkthrough on some parts of it. <laughs> I don't know how I figured out how to get through that. Yeah, me either. What is going on? What is that? Oh, that would be recording again. That's all right. So it's continued. There's more recording. Okay. That's okay. It's not doing anything. Yeah, yet. it's about the flash. Look. So it wasn't recording before. Or did it just turn off? I think you just turned it off. Oh my god! It ran out of space. What's the milk card in it? Do we have milk? There's milk in there. <laughs> Why are you asking? That? I want to drink it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, sorry, Wait, we're not. We're, we're not. No, we're still recording. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we like thought the GoPro out. No, no. I ain't getting no, drunk. We got that one. Or, so. Oh, hey, I'm going to get some milk. Video the... games. <laughs> okay. Um, Ocarina of Time. Wi-Fi, work! Anyway. It's voice activated. <laughs> there's this really cool thing. I want to, It wouldn't work at my work, but there's... um. Oh, you should totally do it at yours. After What's-His-Face comes to do the weekly maintenance, I'll give you a sheet to print out. Yeah. It says, it's really official. I'll, I'll get the brand for your printer. It's like, this printer's had its firmware updated, now supports voice control. All this kind of stuff. Is stick it on the wall above the printer and just what it would be like. Print. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that it will work. I am totally your, doing that. Your job has a like really diverse range. Of yeah. Life. I know well, tech stuff. Is that a phone or like whatever? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, That'd yeah. be cool. I'm just going to use one camera now. That doesn't matter. Yeah, that's fine. Um, all right, so back to Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time. Frustrating. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I don't know, yeah, I don't know how I figured out to like even go on the whole, but like I completely agree that like it's the most obscure and not obtuse. That's not the right word. Obtuse, obtuse. Kind of like difficult and annoying. I think. Yeah, but that's it's the thing. Obtuse. Like most games <laughs> back then, maybe were like you. That would be somewhat normal in a way. Mm. And this is only the first area. Yeah. Yeah. Like Zach, that's been on this podcast ages ago. He said his missus has a copy of this, and he's like, oh, cool. Like, he went to look at it and to see how many hours she's put into it, and he's like, oh, all right, so she's put in about five hours into the game or whatever. She's still in the same area, the first world. (laughs) She hasn't even gone through the Deku tree or whatever it is. Casey and her brother finished it when they were kids. Yeah. Um, and she since bought it on the Wii Virtual, the WiiWare or whatever. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I bought it for her and happy birthday and all that kind of stuff. But I only think she played a few hours of it or something. Yeah. So I think I've gotten up to chapter six or seven. I think that's what I'm up to. That's not bad. So I've gotten to the top of the Death Mountain. Got um, you're actually a fair way through. I haven't turned into Old Link, but so I'm still. I think that's I'm a still fair Little way Link by the name of Reese, which really frustrates me that I can name a character and then they myself, do it. and they still look like the normal character. Like, why bother giving someone? To be able to name themselves. Because they can only fit one texture on the cartridge. Yeah. But the thing, why couldn't they just keep it as Link? They should have just left it as Link and be like, Link, you have a name. You've always had a name. You had a name since the Game Boy and since fucking have you the Super the, Nintendo. the screenshots where they call it like, my dick or asshole or something like that? Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, my dick, you really have to help me out or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> it's like really funny. Yeah. Um... What's that? There's a guy on the YouTube who does it blindfolded. Yep. And what? He, so he plays it blindfolded. He's yep. like he must have played that at least three times. But see, <laughs> like he knows where to go based on like he, he hits. He uses his sword. He's like, oh, I'm at a wall. Oh, I can hear myself climbing. He knows the sounds and the yep. interaction. But he was climbing up a ladder and he encountered a glitch that no one had else had previously found it, and it was above the ladder, above the game. He's yep. like, all right. Well, what? <laughs> he's like, he's expecting to hit the roof and move across, but he just kept going up. Yeah. And I've then he came up and he's like, where the hell am I? And he's like, hitting walls, okay. And he spends like 20 minutes 
totally confused and everyone's like on the chat on twitch like oh my god you found a secret oh what's going on ah. all that kind of stuff but I, he had to restart it the poor guy yeah and then he, he didn't realize and so he just i'm gonna have to restart i'm gonna have to restart turn the console off i only found out that he'd found this when he rewatched the footage or something like yeah that. poor guy yeah got too far because it was an old link as well yeah it? never going to be able to recreate it probably no. <laughs> the um but yeah like it and i do find myself wanting to keep playing it like i didn't know if i was gonna i was gonna give up at the start i was like okay cool no this is a bit annoying but now that i've gotten easy the controls and i'm putting up with the horrible You've design of the, the controls, controls fine yeah the, the, like yep yeah, other than when you go to shoot your slingshot that up is down and down yeah. is up uh, that's annoying no one the likes furthest that. I got was the pony or Epona or whatever. That's the furthest I've ever gotten in the game. That's See, not do I get the horse? Do I, can <laughs> I, I get the ho- little horse or what? Yeah, you get a horse. You've got to go to the ranch. When I'm old, bud? No, you, yeah. So I have to wait till I'm old. Because you I'm, haven't gotten the horse yet. I've done the song to fall the you little horse. You must very far. You said you're at Death Mountain. Yeah. I've done the... Oh, uh, yeah. Death Mountain's pretty early on. I didn't do it's it. It's like halfway through the game, I am. I was in the tree in the confusing maze... And then I went to the town. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure. So that's sure. the start of the game. Yeah, and then I got the pony. Yeah. Did you go to the ranch at I've all? I've gone to the ranch. I've sang a song, to the played a song to the horse, and, and it's then like, she... oh, the horse likes you. And I'm like, cool. What the fuck do yeah, I do I now? Think you got to be old. To... Yeah, yeah, you got to go back. When yeah, you're when I'm old. Like, hey, get... horse. So I found that there's a around. fair amount of sexual references in this game, for one. Hmm. You go to the ranch, there's that Mario-looking fella. And there's yeah, also Luigi. Two there's guys, two... they're definitely Mario and Luigi. The ranch people... Yeah. Which you, we, I did not pick up on at all. I'll probably never play it again. <laughs> um, but Destiny. yeah, like the main guy at the ranch looks like Mario. Yeah, he's also got a Bowser necklace. Does I saw he? that on yep. uh, somewhere. Um, and saying. then the other guys like Luigi, which is just like pissed off because Mario is like gets away with everything. <laughs> um, and you look at him when he's asleep. There's literally a chicken. Pretty much just like pounding its ass on his dick the whole time <laughs> while he's asleep. And he's waking up. He's like, oh, oh. Oh, yeah, just... <laughs> and he just goes back to sleep. Like the chickens just bop, 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 going for it. Anytime you come near a fairy, they're just like, oh, oh they are on the <laughs> They're just like, oh, with my, my pointy titties. And... So they do all that stuff. But then they're just like, now I'm going to give you a magic power. Take this magic or something. And they just go, bah, spread out their legs. And all this magic juju comes towards you. And it's like, yay! Fairy semen or jism or whatever it is. It's just gross. It's just a fairy queen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they disappear. They're just like, yep, yeah, come and I'll leave. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> Typical fairies. Um, <laughs> they look freaky as. They do. They, yeah, they do. the freakiest fairies I've ever seen. Yeah. Just the but they do this whole close up with the camera on their butts and their boobs, and you're just like, man, do they? man yeah. I haven't played this game in ages. So I, I, I am enjoying it, but when I do get stuck, I do just look at the walkthrough and go, all right, what do I got to do here? And then I'm like, there's a wall that's like one fucking tiny pixel color, whatever you call it, different than the rest of the wall. <laughs> that's how you get to the next area. Don't enjoy that. So blow it up, do it, keep going, and I'm happy. So I'm nearly, I'm going, I'm going around. Zelda's have always never really held your hand too much. They've literally just gone, you're in a town. Someone here is going to advance the story. (laughs) Yeah. Go for it. But I'm enjoying it. And then you just go and punch chickens. I do, I do (laughs) want to play it just to finish it. Yeah. I have hit a chicken and I'm too afraid to keep hitting them because I don't want too many chickens to kill me. It didn't work well in Skyrim. The whole town comes out. See, with with the other chickens, I know the chickens in the SNES one or Game Boy one, you hit them. Hundreds of chickens yeah. just come in from all sides. Three of the chickens screen. on the screen, right? You're like, I've got these. So you're like, bang, 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 bang. And they're like, bark, bark, bark. And then all of a sudden they're like, bark. and then from the side of the screen, literally waves of chickens just coming. <laughs> you're like, fuck, gotta get in the house. So I haven't seen what happens on the 64 one. I'm too scared. Waves of 3D chickens. Chickens are too scary. Way too scary. Oh, also, do we have any more time? Not really. Just quickly, what, what, what we what we going to did play Drive Club. Drive Club. Okay, we can talk about that next week. Yeah. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> talk about Drive Club next week. Why you not love me? Um, thank you for listening and watching on everywhere and liking us on Facebook. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're doing competitions every now and then on our Facebook page. Well, we've done one about every week. You got a pretty good chance of winning. Weeks. Yeah, we have a really um, good chance. Uh, like let's play videos, and this podcast is now on YouTube. It's recorded. That's why 
like partway through while you were listening, we would start talking about like where our hands are, and that's kind of weird for an audio podcast. Like, okay. hey, my hands right here. <laughs> I can't see it. So, um, but, yeah. but you can imagine it because imagination is the greatest gift. Yeah. Okay. Go <laughs> Better than the fairy semen. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this was the Trusted Crowbar Podcast. I'm Lucas Whittingslow. I'm Reese Whittingslow. I'm Ben Ken. Thank you for tuning out. Peace out to the world. <laughs> <Tuning> Peace out. <laughs> Peace out to the world. I care. Ben, well, I'm not calling anyone bitches this episode like what Doug did, okay? <laughs> Do you have like a, a saying, like a, a final saying? You guys are idiots. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> He's not coming back. No. <laughs>